one of the largest contributors in the world to air pollution comes from two-stroke power vehicles. If it's smoking, it's a two-stroke. <laughs> That's what you're going to see. In the Philippines and many countries in Asia, the three-wheeler is ingrained in the culture. They're extremely affordable, and they're extremely widely used. It's just stifling. Well above toxic levels. <laughs> One tricycle would compare to roughly 50 modern automobiles in terms of rough emissions equivalent. How big do I think the problem is? To me, I think it's pretty big. Conservative estimates are there's probably close to 100 million two-strokes in the world today. Vehicular pollution causes death. I mean, people die from it. And if you're not dying from it quickly, you're going to die from it slowly. Bronchitis, cancer, heart disease, immune deficiency, it's a very real problem. two-stroke engine is a beautiful thing. From an engineering perspective, it is just quite a delicate solution to trying to translate a spark into energy and, and motion. But, you know, it doesn't have to be as dirty as it is. As an engineer, I'm obviously going to want to solve the problem. But how do you actually then go and implement that solution and make a difference? <laughs> The solution to two-stroke motorcycle smoke, save gasoline and environmentally friendly, it's here now. What you see here is the components of our retrofit kit. All of these components either add to or replace existing parts on this motorcycle. This cylinder head here is really probably the core replacement of the retrofit kit. And the cylinder head allows us to put a fuel injector inside and directly inject the fuel into the cylinder. It's about a 90% reduction in emissions and uh, about a 35 to 40% uh, increase in fuel efficiency. From the driver's perspective, it's significantly about the economic impact. The kit costs on the order of $300. The financial benefit for the drivers is really driven by the fact that they have to buy less fuel. We've got drivers right now who have increased their income by over $2,000 in a year. The Rolex Award is going to fund operations and expansion of market growth. We're working in five to six cities around the world right now, and we would like to see that scale rapidly in the next five years. There's at least 100 million commercial two-stroke vehicles out there. So yeah, if we could do, you know, 10 million, 15 million, I mean, that's, that's a notable impact. I want to see a very noticeable change.